Hello, everybody. I have a special guest today, Fitzpatrick Murphy. How's it going? Sullivan! That's the name. Okay. So we have a couple things we're going to be doing. And the reason why I call him a special guest is because Murphy and I started podcasting together a year ago. Yes, it was definitely a year ago. So it, Murphy. Time flies. Yeah. Murphy was the one that we got the camera in our first podcast, which you can look at on YouTube. Totally. We didn't know how to use the camera. It took us two hours. We were both ready to take a nap. <laughs> it was a learning experience, though. That's for It sure. was. It was. We called it the experiment. Yes. And that actually propelled into doing the podcasting. And Murphy had to finish senior year. So, you know, I had to do stuff without him. But um, he's had a great senior year, and we usually do an announcement, and the kids usually do it by themselves, but because he's a special person, I'm here. So tell well, us, where are you going? Well, I'm going to the University of Idaho for business, um, I'm majoring in business, and I just want to shout out Rebecca and the coaching educator because it's where it all started. Um, I learned a lot from her uh, <laughs> just through thick and thin. It was a crazy ride, but... Now I can take my skills from the coaching educator up to Moscow, see how it goes. Yeah, and plus he's also doing, you're doing a minor or? Minoring in fire science. Fire so. science, so he's been interested in that. But he absolutely loves the business idea, and podcasting is going to be huge. It was Bye. a good start. I, I'm happy that you took me in. It was a rough year, and <laughs> it was a rough year for me. So we decided to do podcasting, and I'm so happy that I learned how to do it because... Now I know how to do podcasting. Like, what do you, a lot of people can't say they know how to podcast. So I'm happy. Exactly. And we'll be checking in with him periodically and have him podcast from his dorm. And hopefully, because I know they have a great business program, they'll require an internship. So then we can have him involved. Awesome. Who knows? Because we didn't even have this podcasting room. We just talked about it. I mean, we were setting things up. We have our little hats on that you can see because mm. it was St. Patrick's Day. And I don't know if you recognize that Fitzpatrick <laughs> Sullivan is Irish as Carol. Carol is very yes. Irish. Irish homies. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So they upgraded this place a little bit since the last time I was here. They they know what's up. They know what they're <laughs> doing. That's for sure. So um, tell us what you what are you doing this summer? Um, so I'm working this summer um, at Just for Kids for the Boise School District. Just watch kids all day, play with them, teach them. Um, just got to be a role model, that's for sure. Um, and then for two weeks later on in July, I will be going to Europe. <gasps> And I'm very excited for and that. And his older brother gets to go with yes, him. So it's going to be the two of them with a friend. With one of my best friends. So where are you going? We we are starting in Denmark, um, flying to Paris. Then from Paris, we're traveling to... You really need to say putty. Putty. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're eventually going to Germany and Amsterdam and calling it a trip. Yeah. It's going to be fun. You will be... You'll have fun. You'll have fun. I was able to visit Germany and Amsterdam. I My first year out of high school, I, I oh, wow. lived in Europe for a year. It's fun. So Life-changing. There were some things that weren't fun because, you know, when you're young and trying to travel kind and it's scary, the first guess, time you're yeah. like, I mean, and when you land, mm -hmm. I mean, you really, for the first time, uh, and I land in, in Paris, mm -hmm. um, you actually are shocked at how People really are speaking another language. Mm. <laughs> I Seriously. mean, you know it logically, mm -hmm. but your generation is a little more exposed. Yeah. So, no. So I really wanted to get Murphy podcasting with me because this is, I think we're, is it 50? I'm pretty sure we have 50 podcasts up, not on our regular, the college light bulb. But what made you decide on business? Well, because of you, like business is just like one of the I've heard going like if you don't know what your major is going to be pick business and I mean I have nothing against business like maybe one day I'd love to start my own business um, and now that I did podcasting with Rebecca I feel like I could get a jump start like on one of the certain branches like you can go into economics broadcasting you can go to many things in business so I feel like I'm one step ahead going in 
that's why I picked business. Yeah, and I don't know that, um, I mean, a lot of the stuff you say you're interested in. So he wants to have a career in where he's traveling. So that would make exactly. sense. You, well, and your grandfather was heavily involved mm-hmm. and he had his own business. Own business, world traveler. I'm trying to follow those footsteps. Yeah, yeah. And he, he just was highly connected to um, the Loyola Marymount, um, you know. Mm-hmm. Murphy grew up in California until you were little. Yes, right, little see. boy. Third, I moved here in third grade. And then so. probably was a little bit of a shock. Yeah. <laughs> change of scenery yeah he was on a little island <laughs> a house on a little island it's very cute some of the pictures but I you know I know his grandfather owned a business his mom owned a business so they were powerhouses and so it just makes sense mm-hmm. that you would be attracted to it it's mm-hmm. just so much has changed now mm-hmm. that everything's online everything's digital nowadays it's yeah. a little different yeah. So. so we were determined, and it was pretty funny because the camera seems very easy now, but we, <laughs> we pulled it out. We were so excited. And that's the thing. And, I, you know, I really encourage people to not give up. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we actually would spend four hours at a time. So he would come in, and he was committed because it was, it was early in the morning. It was a grind. And we would have to learn whatever came in mm-hmm. and then try to implement it and get the lighting right and get the... We had to move my office around every time. and My knowledge is now broadened, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but you, and you took an actually a pretty heavy senior year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you did well. Thank you. Thank so, you much. yeah. No, graduated I, on to the next thing. Which, and he graduated in one of, what, was it a hailstorm? <laughs> I don't know because I was inside, but once I got outside, it was dumping rain, so not a good graduation. Yes, he gra- and he graduated from Timberline. Mm-hmm. So what would you tell students who are going through high school right now? What do they need to do? What do they need to pay attention to? What are some um, of the things you wish you had done better? If you are trying to go to a university, my one advice I would give you is to pay attention to your grades because... It'll come and bite you in the butt later if you don't keep on top of your work. And if you do well in high school, you have un- unlimited opportunities of where you want to go. So yeah, stick, to, stick true to your grades. Stick true to your grades. And you also, you were an athlete in high school. Mm-hmm. Don't and you think that helped? It did, definitely. Um, being an athlete in baseball. high school, it's very fun. You have a bond of guys. That's also why I'm going up to the University of Idaho to join a fraternity is because I'm going to miss those bond of guys. And I think... Just restart it, restart it again. Now, they have a really interesting way of recruiting because I think they're doing it differently than I've seen. Well, in the summertime, or UI bound, it's called, you go up, sign your name, and then the fraternity chairs will try and recruit you all throughout the summer. Yeah. He's Take like you been out going to breakfast, on fraternity lunch, dates. dinner. I for, think I need to sign for free. up for <laughs> It's free for me. So, <laughs> little <why> dates. Not? <laughs> yeah, little dates with the fraternity dudes. It's awesome. But yeah. that is their way of recruiting. So, And then you get to decide. Mm-hmm. And it gives one? me like really good input on what the guys are like before school even starts. So, yeah. rush. And one of them in particular, there's quite a few baseball mm-hmm. players. There so are. a lot that, of baseball guys. That's a plus. Now, were you able to go into the their their quarters or not? Like or, the house. Yeah. Uh, we did like quick house tours. Um, but you were probably wiped out. By and that. yeah, it, I, yeah. You didn't, now it you're wasn't, like, it gosh, wasn't really. I paid attention. Yeah, it was a while ago, so. <laughs> All right, and you're we'll planning on having a small part-time job. Yes. I don't know what it's on... going to be, but I need to make a steady income of money sometime. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you'll sure. be. I mean, he doesn't have that hard a time getting employed. You've yeah. worked before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that helps. And mm-hmm. that that does help. And also, I know there's stuff in the fire science. Oh, yes, definitely. They have a cool Endless program. jobs. Yeah. And and they, they have a feed-in mm-hmm. program in the summer, mm-hmm. so he very well might be gone to fight fires yeah we'll see what happens i'll let you guys know okay so thank you yeah, for thank coming thank you guys for having me and here's his university of idaho yes revenue of i check it out there we go all right thank you so much and we'll see you in our next podcast